Welcome back to Project 365. I'm Corey with SB Pace. We are going to continue our conversation business about business foundations uh, here in the month of April. We are going to uh, cont continue talking about exit strategies today. The question is, does everyone need an exit strategy? And much like a business plan, which I've talked about, and um, you know, SWOT analysis for solopreneurs earlier this month, yes, everybody needs an exit strategy and not just an exit strategy, multiple exit strategies. Everybody needs to think about it and everybody needs to be prepared to exit because you never know when pandemic 2.0 is gonna happen, you're gonna win the lottery and wanna just leave. Um, whatever it is, like, like events tr can happen, things can happen and you wanna be prepared for that. So you wanna have that end in sight and you wanna have your business set up for success so that if you needed to hand it off to somebody because you you won the lottery or you know, God forbid you got sick and you couldn't run your business, you can hand that off to somebody and you can feel confident knowing that the business is going to run without you. Um, and hopefully you can sell it uh, for a significant amount of money so you don't have to worry about the business. And that's the, you know, knowing what that trigger is and, and having your systems and processes and, and uh, everything documented, uh, job, job resp uh, roles, responsibilities, uh, job descriptions, um, everything that, that goes into your business, having all of that documented is just going to make it that much easier and that much quicker and that much more attractive when you go to sell or, you know, offload your business somehow.